Well, survivors of the Florida school shooting, many traveling straight from funerals for their fallen classmates, will speak to lawmakers today in the state's capital. The students will be pushing for stricter gun laws as eyewitnesses to one of the deadliest mass shootings in modern U.S. history. Our news reporter Jan Carabello is live now in our news center with the details. Jan, good morning. Well, Helen, Jim, good morning. They've made the 450 mile trip, but they know there's still a long road ahead. Some have made a list of demands, including universal background checks and a ban on military grade weapons. Today, these students will rally and break off into smaller groups to speak directly with Florida lawmakers. <laughs> Students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School arrived to Cheers last night as their buses pulled into the state capitol. Today, those students will meet with lawmakers in Tallahassee pushing for tighter gun control. This exactly one week after a mass shooting claimed the lives of 17 of their classmates and teachers. We're going to keep talking. We're going to keep pushing until something is done because people are dying and this can't happen anymore. Students filled three buses. About 100 of them made the seven hour journey, many coming straight from the funerals of their fallen friends. I honestly think so background so checks and so age requirements. In this bus, as students strategize their talking points for legislators, organizers of the March for Lives protest noticed they had reached a fundraising milestone for their March 24th event. We hit a million on our GoFundMe for a March for Our Lives. And even though mid-trip, students learned that the Florida State House had voted down an attempt to revive a bill to ban assault rifles, there was some evidence out of Washington that their calls for change are being heard. I signed a memorandum directing the Attorney General to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns. So-called bump stocks were used in the Las Vegas shooting, but not in Florida. The president also tweeted, quote, whether we are Republican or Democrat, we must now focus on strengthening background checks. And happening today, President Trump will hold a listening session on school safety. The White House says family and teachers from Parkland, Sandy Hook and Columbine will all attend. In the News Center, Jane Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim Morrell, back into you. All right, Jan, thank you.